Okay, so there's two things that you need uh, to find out in order to get an equation of a line segment. And the equation of a line segment is always y equals mx plus c. I say always, but for this question, it's useful to use y equals mx plus c. m is your gradient, and c is your y-intercept. Now, the gradient is going to be the easier of the two to find. And to find the gradient, so we just need a simple formula. And the gradient is change in y over change in x. So with this question, the y values are uh, these two here, so the second ones in each, and our x values are the first two. So the change in y is 16 take away 7. So how much did 7 change onto the second coordinate? And the change in x is 8 take away 2. Now, it's really common for students to get this mixed up because you're told since very, very young that you always put x before y. But in this formula, the y goes on top and the x goes below. So 16 take away 7 is 9. 8 take away 2 is 6. So it's 9 over 6, which uh, we can divide to one by 3. So it becomes 3 over 2. So it's 1 and a half or 3 over 2. Okay, so what we want to do is just pick this first coordinate here, so 2, 7. And I'm going to write out y equals mx plus c. Now we know what m is, and for this point we know what y and we know what x is. So I'm going to substitute in the values of y and x for that point there, and the value of m that we found here. And this gradient is just m, means the same thing. And I'm going to put those both into this formula. So for our coordinate, uh, y is 7, uh, m is 3 over 2, and x, and I'm going to put this in brackets to make it a bit simpler, x is 2 for our coordinate, and it's only c that we've got to find out. Okay, so I'm going to put my lines in, because we are solving, we're trying to find out what c is. So the first thing to do is 1.5 times 2, and well that's just going to be 3 plus c, and we're going to take away 3 both sides to get C on its own. So 4 equals C, or C equals 4. And you can check that for the other coordinate. So you could put these in uh, to that equation, now that we know what it is. Well, let's just write it out to be sure. So Y equals 3 over 2, or 1.5, X plus 4. And if we put in the value of 8 here, so 1.5 times 8 plus 4, is that equal to 16? Well, 1 and a half times 8 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. So our formula is 3 over 2x plus 4. Now, there are other ways of doing this, but for me, this is my, by far the easiest. You find the gradient, you put it into y equals mx plus c, and you put in one of the coordinates, the values of y and x, and to find c, and then you just write out the equation.